A Bemidji Middle School class again wants to know what happens when a giant balloon is sent sky high. It took a good deal of time and effort to set up. I tagged along with them to Ada, Minnesota to learn more on this week's Golden Apple. A number of steps went into getting this science project ready so for launch. Let's roll it over this way first. Let's In groups, students had formed a number of experiments to see what effect air pressure could have. One group decided to test with eggs. This is the farm fresh. Uh, I raise chickens, so I just brought one from my coop. They wanted to know if store-bought or farm fresh eggs would last longer. I want to see how high they can get before they like crack or explode. Others tested out wildlife. We put two plants, a sunflower plant and a corn plant into the box. We're going to send these up and then we're going to see which one produces their vegetable like the corn or the sunflower flower. Putting everything in the air with the balloon has proved expensive. We budgeted about $2,000 for external um, external support. The school got the money from a partnership with Bemidji State for the third time in four years. Middle schoolers that generally have a high interest in different types of science and technology uh, fields, right, if we can attract them in, and maintain them in a STEM field as their middle schoolers, the chance of maintaining them through their high school years and into college is much, much greater. When setup was done, the group prepared for launch. They tracked the balloon while following along by bus. We've got two ham radios that are actually uh, sending a signal that you can track on any old iPhone, and uh, we'll follow that till it bursts. For the first time ever, it all landed in a lake, almost 40 miles away from the drop in Bertha they expected. They recovered it using a rowboat, and luckily nothing was harmed, leaving the students hopeful for some interesting answers. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.